Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Praise God. I want to thank the Lord for you. I thank him for protecting you and for keeping you healthy. However, I cannot rule out that um, all of us are fine. There are others who are going through a lot. There is a lot of stress. There is a lot of money issues. There is a lot of uh, relationship issues and so on and so forth. But I pray that God helps you out. Whatever situation that you're going through. And I know that it will be something which is go you're going to testify at one point in time. Now, I am here just to, to remind you. It is long overdue. The testimony for Jennifer. Now, I want to remind you that we are going to listen to her testimony. And I pray that you're very keen and listen, be able to discern and see what you can do or what you can learn out of it. Okay? So, without wasting much time, I want you to be blessed, I want you to be encouraged, and I want you to learn. Let us go and then listen to Jennifer's testimony. And then remember to comment, remember to like, remember to subscribe. Almighty Father in heaven, I want to thank you for the moment that you've given us this evening. I want, you, I want to thank you for Jennifer, who is with me now. I want to thank you for everything that you've done in her life. And I want to thank you for the day. I want to thank you for the grace and everything that you're going to make us share. Father, I ask you to protect us. I ask you to send your mighty angels to be with us, to guide us. I know that your enemy may not wish us to share the things, but I pray that you come in amidst us and be with us, Father. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, I ask you to send your mighty angels, Angel Michael and everyone, those ones that you know that can guarantee us protection for us to share this. Father, we are doing this for the glorification of your name. We are doing this for your people to know what good things that you've prepared for them. Father, I ask you to give us the wisdom. I ask you to enable my sister to feel, to feel free. Give her what to say. Enable her to say anything without shame. Give her the courage, give her the energy. Because it is you who has made this day. It is you who has organized this day. From the very moment that I made the phone call, there has been no hesitation. So I know that you are in this situation. And I know that everything is going to come to pass according to your holy will. Father, I thank you and I glorify your name. I thank you for everything. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Yes, please. <clears throat> well, thank you very much. Mm. Dear listeners. Mm -hmm. You're welcome to favor. Thank you. You said once again that you've never been in favor. No. It is your first it's time. My first time. But have you ever heard of favor? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. From where? F from my friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> But I've never bothered like to tune in to Fever and listen to Fever. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, but you've been seeing the Fever vehicles. Yes. You've been in House of Prayer. No. You've not been there. No. Okay. Mm. But you've been in Gulu. Yes. For some time. This is like the seventh. The seventh. Yeah. The seventh year. Mm. Okay, in Gulu. Yes. Okay. So, briefly, if I may ask, um, are you a born of Gulu? Yes. From which part of Gulu? From Gulu district, yeah. From Gulu my district. My home, mm. okay, my village is mm. in Tegorato. Tegorato. Mm. Hills, here. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's in Gulu. Okay. Uh, I'm born from Gulu, yeah, hospital, mm. Gulu hospital. Mm. Yes. Okay. Mm. So... How comes that um, <laughs> you, you, you're not very good in, as in, you're not free to, to like speak low? Have you, have you spent most is, of your time in Kampala? Yeah, yes. 
mm-hmm. not actually on the Kampala, I've been moving a lot because mm-hmm. my dad had work that he would be po- uh, taken to other districts, yeah? So mm-hmm. we had to follow him like children. Okay. We couldn't stay mm-hmm. on our own. Okay. So we had to move with him. Mm-hmm. So I've grown in the, oh, okay, most in the central part of, of Uganda. Of Uganda, yeah. Okay. Mm. So, may I know who Jennifer is? I don't know whether that's the right name. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> Jennifer. Mm. Is a quiet girl. <laughs> mm. uh, well, I'm... Very not quiet. married. Not I'm not married. married. Okay. But with two children. Okay. Yes. Mm. And yeah, basically, I finished my education. Mm. And I did social works. Okay. Mm. That is from? From Kozi University. Okay. And right now I'm here in Gulu, 36 years old. Mm. Yeah, that is basically me. Gulu, 36, and uh, for seven years. Mm. <laughs> that is constant or on and off? Constant. Okay. Mm. Wow. So, what do you do? Right now? Mm. I work with you and okay yes wow that is good so can I know your story can we know your story where did you start from and uh, how that how how what happened and what happened that made you come to Christ and after Christ, what are those good things that the Lord has done for you? So let us begin from what exactly happened. You can narrate to us so that we can know from, I don't know whether it is okay, you can even start from when you were born, uh, what exactly happened, or the other part of you where it started from. Hmm. I'll start from the other part where hmm. it started. Okay. Because, like, hmm. honestly, me being born, I don't know what happened. Hey, yeah. But hmm. I'll go straight to where this thing started from. Hmm. Well, during my S6 hmm. in Maryland High School, hmm. I met a friend. Hmm. Her name was Christine. Mm. And we are friends with her, but, okay, she was like my best friend. Mm. I didn't know, like, something wrong was with her or anything like that. Mm. But along the way, when we were friends, people used to tell me. Mm. Because for me, I joined there, like, two years after this school had started. Mm. So the old boys and girls used to tell me, Jenny, you're a friend to this girl. I'll tell them, yes. Is there anything wrong with it? Mm. But of course for them, they had suspected something. Already? Yes. Mm. So I stayed with this girl. Like in first term, we used to be friends. Mm. Then along the way in second term, I used to notice something. I started noting something different. Mm. Noticing something different with her. Mm. Now this is a girl. When I go to class, mm. she remains in the dormitory. Which year was that one? That was in 2016. 2016. Yes. Mm. This is a girl who used to remain in the dormitory. And I would ask myself. How does she read? Okay, what is wrong with this girl, yes? Mm. Because, like, you're a candidate. You're supposed to be in class and read for the examination. But it is second term and we are going for mocks. 
Mm. This is a girl who used to go to class. But then, one funny thing is when she's in the dormitory mm. and the teachers are doing like inspection, mm. they don't see her. Mm. But when a teacher comes to class, they see her, she's seated there in her desk. Mm. But when for us, we are not seeing her. Mm. So now, one day I took, you know, my time to ask this girl what her problem was really. Mm. And she told me, she told me something very funny. She told me, Jenny, you don't even want to, to get into my story. Mm. So I ignored. I was like, okay, teenagers, mm. they're like that. So this is a girl one day she went to town. This is a girl who would come back for me with clothes, you know, being mm. a teenager by then. Mm. She brings you clothes, these things, these things, this. And I would ask myself, where is this girl getting all these things? Is it that her parents are too rich or what? Then I come to learn that this girl comes from Tanzania. Mm. So, like, their currency maybe has got more value than ours, mm. so she would, like, spend money the way she wanted. A design that was not even yet in Africa, mm. I would have them. Mm. This is a girl who would bring for me jewelries, rings, and a lot of other things. Mm shoes and I would take them because you know I wanted them material things by then mm. so her cousin was also in that school a boy mm. now this boy begins to tell me Jenny you be very careful with Christine mm. she's giving you gifts but you don't know where these gifts are coming from mm. but I told this boy ah, you're just jealous you know the cousin also comes from Tanzania yeah from Tanzania mm. I just told him, Julius, you're jealous. This girl cannot do anything to me. So now, we continued being friends. We would go with this girl to the bathroom. She takes like hours in the bathroom bathing. And I would wonder, why should a girl take long in the bathroom? So one day the cousin called me mm. and told me, Jennifer, I'm being honest with you. This girl you're moving with mm. is not a human being. Mm. She's a spirit. This is a girl who died like four years back mm. from Tanzania. But I used to ask the boy, okay, if this girl is really dead, yeah, what is she doing here? Mm. Then the girl, then the guy told me, hmm, one day you will understand what I'm saying. Mm. This is a girl now. Okay, it's like she heard what her cousin was telling me. Mm. So I started avoiding this girl. Then one day she came and asked me, okay, because the brother had told me, if you really want to know who this girl is, you pick a Bible mm. and you sit with it when you're with her in the dormitory. And then the next day you come and tell me if this girl has come next to you. Mm. So this is what I used to do. One day I got the Bible, I sat with it. Mm. And from nowhere, you know, she just sent a friend of my hours. She told this friend, you go and tell Jenny, that book she's holding, she should keep it mm. in her box if she still wants her life. Mm. I was like, okay. I would keep this book. Now I think this girl started, okay, I started understanding exactly what this girl was. One day we went to the class like to study for preps. Mm. But each time I study and I look at this girl in the eyes, eh, like mm. I get confused. Mm. Everything that I've read disappears. And then I wonder. So one day I pulled her aside and I asked her, Christine, if you want us to still continue being friends, eh? I want to know the truth about you. Mm. Because you are really weird. You, you, you girl, you're weird. Then this is what she told me. She told me, Jennifer, <laughs> for me I've been, I knew you even before you came to this school. Mm. And I was sent to protect you, and I'm here to protect you. And I asked her who sent you to protect me. Said you will know when you grow up. Mm. I told her, okay, it's okay. So we continued after our senior six. This girl left. I also left. 
But along the way, funny things started happening to me. Eh? Mm. Things that I used not to do. I started like going to clubs. Mm. I ended up even using cocaine. Mm. I used to sell cocaine as in powdered form. A, a guy like all the way from 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 Nigeria. Mm. He came to Uganda. We he recruited us. Then we started selling those things even to army officials, mm. to police officers. And I got arrested at some point. Mm. So my life like one day I think I I got a relapse of this cocaine thing. Mm. I ended up in the hospital at Serenity Center. By you then. could also take it? Yeah, because mm. before you sell cocaine, you have to test it yourself for the owner, for the one buying to know that it's a genuine thing. Mm. Yes, so it has to first work on you before it starts working on them. Mm. So like in the process of me testing, I got addicted to it. Mm. So I was taken to a hospital by a teacher one of the teachers who knew me from Maryland mm. and I ended up in Serenity Center like for six months mm. but during all the six months I was being monitored by this girl mm. she knew exactly where I was and what was happening and what was happening everything actually she knew everything mm. so after like after those six months when I got out of Serenity Center I just told my parents, you know, maybe I should go to Gulu. Mm. I just feel like life here in Kampala is not good. Mm. Maybe I should just go to Gulu and relax there. I start like business. I do my own things that side. And my father agreed and said, okay, fine. You can relocate. So mm. I came to Gulu. Mm. Now the worst thing started happening from here in Gulu. Mm. That was 2018. I used to work at some former bar called Skype, yeah, mm. along that free zone thing. Mm. And <laughs> I met a girl at night, like at eight in mm. the night when I was coming, but it was on my birthday. Mm. At eight, I was moving and I had someone calling me, Jennifer, Jennifer. So I turned back. And I looked at this girl. She was like, eh, you girl, you've forgotten me. I was like, ah, who are you? Mm. Because we are all grown-ups now. Who are you? She told me, you don't remember me. This is Christine, your best friend from Maryland. Mm. I was like, okay. How did you reach Guru? Because you know she's the, from Tanzania. Yes, the last time I heard you were from TZ. Now, how comes you're in Guru? She told me, I'm here for a project. She started telling me, you know, funny stories. Joy, I got born again. Mm. So we move in countries, yeah? Mm. Preaching the gospel and those things. I was like, okay, that is good. Mm. It's good you've changed. So she told me, ah, today is your birthday. From nowhere. Mm. Yet I had not yet even told her. Mm. Then I told her, eh, you remembered? Yeah, today is my birthday. She said, eh, Jenny, me, I remember everything about you. Actually, I know everything about you. Mm. You remember the last time when we were leaving Maryland, I told you, I'll always watch over you. Mm. And I thought that was like a joke. Then I told her, okay, thank you for watching over me. I'm okay, perfect, fine. Then she tells me, okay, let's, uh, let us first go back to Skype. And maybe have something like to eat. Mm. And we chat since it has been long. We have not seen each other. So I agreed. We went and sat, we talked. She bought me that maid. Mm. Now this me that made this girl bought is like, okay, I don't know what happened to it, but she's the one who prayed over it mm. as being born again. So I don't know what happened to the me that made. I took it mm. because by then I was not born again. Mm. So these things of praying, what, 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 I didn't mm. know anything about it. So I took the thing and then she tells me, okay, you wait there for me 30 minutes. I'm coming. This girl disappears. She comes back after 30 minutes with gifts, mm. which are already wrapped mm. in a cavera. And then she tells me, eh, happy birthday. And then I told her, thank you. So we parted our ways. Mm. I went home. 
remember going home we didn't even like exchange contacts yeah mm -hmm. reaching home actually my heart was telling me you first open this gifts this girl gave you mm -hmm. but the other side also was telling me ah uh -uh. wait wait you'll do these things tomorrow you're tired mm -hmm. so i waited the next day in the morning i opened this gift because my heart was really need to see what was there mm -hmm. opening this thing i saw two rings mm -hmm wrapped together properly a golden one and a silver one very expensive very expensive mm. and i looked at these things i was like eh, these things are beautiful where did i start from and immediately me getting this thing my phone rang mm. a very strange number triple six triple nine mm. on the screen mm. i was like eh, this is strange Maybe it's this people of MTN. Mm. Let me first receive. So I received this call. And the voice from the other side told me, have you liked your gifts? Mm. I was like, uh-uh, who is this? She told me, eh, hey, it's me, Christine. And then I asked her, Christine, where did you get my number? Because mm. yesterday when we departed, I did not give it to you. And you did not give me your number. Mm. Right now you're calling me. So this girl tells me, I'm watching you. Everywhere you go, I'm watching you. So she tells me, put on those rings if you don't want me to appear mm. where you are. I was like, even if you were not to command me, I was going to put on these rings. Mm. Of course, they are very beautiful and nice. Mm. So she tells me, hey, it's good you've liked them. Now you put on those rings. Immediately I put on these rings. Mm. This is the girl who appeared from nowhere. After putting on the rings. After me putting on the rings, mm. she appeared in my room. Jesus. From nowhere. Mm. And I was surprised. Actually, in this time I was now seeing her like here, face in front of face. me, face to face. Mm. And then she told me, You girl, you're very lucky. Do you know you're very lucky because my family back at home, they love you very much. Mm. That's why I'm still here protecting you. If it was not because of that, mm. I should have dealt with you like years ago. Mm. But you're very lucky. I told her, okay, which family? Because for me, as I know, this is my family here. Mm. In Gulo. She doesn't know. Jennifer, for you, I've been prepared long time. Mm. Eh? You have a family. And right now, as I talk, I've come here to tell you, we are going to meet your family today. Mm. You get prepared, midnight, I'm coming. I was like, okay, mm. I'll be waiting. Because, you know, now, I really wanted. Now, during that time, you, you're still strong. No, I was, of course, scared now, <laughs> okay? Getting scared because mm. someone cannot just appear. Mm from nowhere into now, your this room. Is, this is not like Nigerian uh -huh. movies. <laughs> like I used to see every day, no. Mm. But of course I was getting scared. But then, by the, I wanted first of all, okay, I was like, okay, this, this is not happening, but mm. it is there. Mm. I had to deal with it. So I, I kept calm, by the way. I did not even tell anyone, the family. Mm. I kept calm. But of course you would see me when I'm walking, there mm. is something wrong, but mm. I could not explain it out because you know, most people don't believe in such things. Mm. So I kept to myself, I was eagerly waiting for midnight. You no? just want to prove it. Yes. Mm. So I waited because she told me, you first remove these rings. When it's like 30 minutes to midnight, put them back on. Mm. Then I was like, okay, cool, I'll remove. But of course, she told me, even if you put on these rings, mm. there's no one who will see it during the day. Mm. It's going to be there in your fingers, but very invisible. Mm. So I was like, okay, that is fine. I waited eagerly for midnight. I waited a quarter to midnight. I put on the rings and I sat on my bed. Mm. So this girl appears. She tells me, are you ready? I told her, yeah, very ready. Appeared on your bed? Yes, in my room again. Now, they are the ones coming to meet your family. Or she, they are taking you to meet their family? She's taking me now to meet her family. Mm. Of course she knows my family. Mm. 
because mm. they have been watching. Mm. So I waited when she appeared. She told me, are you ready? I told her, yes, I'm ready. Then she told me, but before we go, do you know you are a princess in our kingdom? Mm. I told her, no, I don't know. Mm. She told me, you want to know that you're a princess? I told her, yeah, I would love to know that, you know? Mm. I was joking like with her. I said, you know, being in the royal family is also a nice thing. Mm. So we go. She's like, okay, fine. She told me, she tells me, you close your eyes. And I closed my eyes and then she just tapped me. This, mm. we disappeared. Mm. And then this time I found myself. Somewhere else. Indian Ocean. Mm. And with her, she had like four eggs mm. from the local chicken. Yeah? Mm. She, right away from Gulu here. Yes, from Gulu, from my bed, actually, in my bedroom. Mm. We disappeared. Your parents don't know anything? Nothing, because at home, I don't stay with my parents. Mm. <gasps> they got separated, so mm. they are. When I found myself there, then I ask her. You're only seeing water? Yes, water. And then I ask her, okay, okay, actually, I'm seeing water and we are standing on top of water. Mm. And then I ask this girl, okay, what is all this? Why are we on water? She tells me, ah, be quiet. And then I tell her, okay, I'm quiet. And then she tells me, you turn your back. And then I turn my back. Mm. She turns her back. Then she begins throwing the eggs mm. one by one backwards inside the water and she's speaking a language I don't understand mm. and then after after she had finished everything then she tells me okay you can now face the water now I turned to see this thing you know a snake coming up mm. okay actually it's not even a snake let me say it's like an ego thing eh? mm. a bird mm. with seven heads Mm. But these seven heads were snakes. Mm. Seven heads of snakes. And then she tells me, you sit. But I believe by then, my soul was not... Okay, by then I was not in my physical form. Yeah? Mm, mm, mm. It was a spirit. Yes. Mm. So she tells me, you sit. You're going to meet your family. And then I sat on this thing. Go now on that thing there were chairs no mm. we just sat on the head of the seventh the middle mm. one two three four five six seven yeah mm. and we sat on the one two three one two three we were on the fourth mm. we sat together with that on the fourth mm. and then like in seconds mm. i find myself in another kingdom altogether Mm. And I'm be I, I'm dressed up. Okay, I'm dressed up like the princess she told me, mm. with the crown and everything. And, and that one also appeared in seconds. Uh huh. Mm. In seconds, <sighs> I was like, all right. Everywhere I see, there's gold, silver, diamond. And I asked her, okay, where are we? She told me, now kingdom. I was like, which kingdom? Mm. She said, the real kingdom where you belong. Mm. I was like, okay. So we continued. We moved with this girl. She told me, by the way, they're waiting for you for your wedding. Mm. They have already prepared. I was just asked to come and pick you to bring you for your wedding. Mm. I was like, cool, let's go. We moved. By then, I had started getting scared, real scared. Because you don't know spirit, what's going on. Because I really didn't know what was going on. Mm. So as I was moving, like everyone I meet on the way was bowing down to me, calling me, Princess Jay, welcome back home. Mm. I was like, okay, I've never been here. You people are telling me welcome back home. And Princess Jay from where? Because it is even not my name. Mm. And then this guy tells me, no, that is the name that was given to you. Mm. And that is the name you will continue using when you're here in this kingdom. Mm. I was like, okay, fine. Tell me about the experience. Um, is there, is it daylight here? Yeah. Is, there. Are, are there roads like uh -huh. here? Uh-huh. I'm mm. coming to that. Mm. So this is the thing. We went mm. in a chamber. Mm. And I found a lady-like creature. 
okay, she, she's a lady. They call her queen of the coast. Mm. A woman, mm. half. Then the legs is a mermaid, fish-like, yeah? Mm. Seated on the throne. And she calls me, ah, my daughter, you're welcome. I was like, thank you. Then she tells me, okay, do you see that person seated on that chair? I was like, no, I don't see. And then the chair is turned, and then I see this python that was like, Mm. You know, coiled, seated. Then they tell me, okay, that is your husband. Mm. You're supposed to be married to that. I was like, ah. okay, this time I was scared, but there was nothing I could do. And you because even somewhere was, else. Yes, because I was now being controlled. Mm. So I accepted. Now they ask me, okay, where is the ring that you were given? Of course, they were now on my fingers. Then they told me, you remove one. I removed one, the other one remained on my finger. Mm. Then they told me now this one is now going to bud. They use the language. Mm. Okay. They use Greek, whatever, whatever, but they told me, of course I could understand that they use they tell me, Okay, now you put this ring on the tail mm. of the snake mm. so that the covenant can be sealed mm. for marriage. And I did it not knowing. Mm. And then I was taken like to fist. And now on the table, mm. there are all sorts of things. There are cockroaches, maggots, fresh fish. Of course, they don't eat fresh fish, but it is put there just to test mm. human flesh, which is still dripping blood. Mm. They put their human blood in glasses and a lot of funny things. Mm. And you're told to take specifically what they tell you to pick. Mm. You're not supposed to pick anything because there are other things that some people eat mm. that is meant for another kingdom because mm. in there they have 12 kingdoms. Mm. So for me specifically, I was put in the kingdom of triple six. Mm. So I was given that blood and the mercury mm. to take. So I took. And then from there, this is the girl who was brought. They told Christy, now, now that she has been covenanted here, now you can show her the mm. whole kingdom, yes? Mm. Now this is where this girl started moving with me. She started taking me to factories, mm. streets. Mm. Okay, it's just like this earth where we live in, mm. but theirs is like three times more advanced, mm. more advanced like nothing. They had everything, universities, schools, everything that is here where we live in. Mm. Yeah, so I was introduced and I looked at everything and specifically I was taken to a ground that was called the fallen ground mm. and this is where like all souls mm. that were from us here once you've been initiated mm. it is taken and put in that ground okay it's like an assembly ground mm. where like you're given assignments to do mm. so that is where i was taken and i stood because they told us your leader is coming mm. okay as in the leader of the kingdom mm. that is lucifer himself they told us he's going to come and give you people instructions mm. so you sit there and wait mm. so we sat okay we were about like seven of us mm. we sat and waited uh, 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 the seven you who mm. left was taken from here and mm. the six you got from there and the six i already got them from there mm. yeah they were also souls from here I don't really actually know, but... Oh, they were already souls they taken were, long time. They were not taken long time. Mm. We were taken that same night, but with by, by different princesses. Mm. Because they have all been assigned mm. to different corners of the world. Mm. There are some who had been brought in from Nigeria. Mm. The others like from Ghana and mm. the rest. Mm. So we start waiting. So this guy appears from nowhere with a hood black all dressed in black we could not see his face mm. tells us make a straight line and we made a straight line then the guy tells us okay you know each one of you has got a master plan here mm. and i was like okay now what is a master plan mm. 
Mm. Because I've never heard of that. Then you're thinking just in you. Yeah, or you're within me. It. No, within me, I was thinking, okay, what is a master plan? Mm. Because this guy says, you know, all of you have got master plans and we need them right now. Okay, it was like all of us were holding this file in our hands, mm. which is invisible. We cannot see. Mm. But for them, they are seeing it. Mm. So I told this guy, for me, I don't even know what the master plan is all about. Then she tells me, hmm. Now you, you're a different soul from these ones. Mm. For you, your work is very different from these ones. So for your case, bring your master plan here and go the other side. Mm. So I gave in my master plan. After Had you known that you have it? Yes. Then I started seeing when he started talking. I, okay, it was written like in our palms, yeah? Mm. Okay, the master plan is basically things that we were ordained Mm. preordained to do before mm. you were born in this world mm. like god had already written you will be a pastor you will be like a minister in the gospel you'll be this this and that yeah mm. it was there so it's like they wanted this thing so that they can alternate it with theirs with theirs the fake one mm. so he told me you go and sit the other side after me handing in then i went and sat the other side so i don't know what he did with this one this one's went mm. So I came and he came back to me and told me, now you, straight to the black house. Mm. I'm like, no, black house. She said, the black house is in California. Mm. And you're supposed to go there and meet the black witch. Mm. Who is going to initiate you and give you your assignment from there. Mm. So we flew and we went. To California. To California. Mm. Now California... Actually, it is. It has. It's the headquarters mm. of the devil worshippers, mm. and in in um, the entrance of this place is a naked woman mm. seated with her legs apart, and her private part is what is used as the door mm. for entering. Mm. Meaning, if you enter through that door, automatically you're initiated to do anything mm. these people want you to do. So when I went there, a lot of rituals were performed, of which I didn't know because I was not in my right senses. Mm. Then at immediately, immediately, it clocked four o'clock. In the morning? In the morning. Mm. I was in my bed. Here in Gulu? Here in Gulu. Mm. I woke up and came back to my senses and found myself in bed. Mm. And I didn't know what happened. Mm. I could not remember a thing at that time. At that time, but the rings are there. They are there on my fingers. Mm. This thing gave me a hard time. I really wanted to talk like to someone, but then in my heart I was like, even if I talk to nobody, no, is one, going to no one is going you. to believe me. Because mm. first of all, even if I get out with these rings, people are not seeing them. It is only you. It is only me seeing these things. Mm. So I told myself, okay, you keep this thing to yourself. I kept this thing to myself, but of course my life was not it. Mm. You know? People started looking at me. Okay, I started like losing weight because when I came back from there, immediately I came back from there, the next day, mm. I could not eat the physical food people eat. Mm. Mine now was like feeding on fruits. Mm. I would drink like juice. I take these snacks only. That was the thing I used to feed on. So I started losing weight. Mm. So one day, that is when now, this girl came back and told me, okay, since now you've grown in the kingdom, we want you to start serious business. Mm. You're not supposed to be assigned mm. to go and do official duties. Mm. I was like, okay. I will do them because, okay, it's like from there I had already signed an agreement. Okay, I will, I signed like oath, vows, mm. you know, blood covenants were taken, what happened, so. And I was told if I don't do them, my family would be at sick. Mm. So I had to start doing those things. So in 2019, 
2019, I was assigned mm. to come and destroy churches, mm. particularly a church here in Gulu. Mm. So when I read here in Gulu, I met a girl whom we were with that side. Mm. I knew her. She knew me. But then... The which side? In the Indian Ocean? Yes. Okay. You met her here. Her soul, yeah. Actually, mm. there we meet spirit, spirit. Mm. So she told me, okay. Because she had now... They had sent her ahead of me. Mm. They told her, you, you're supposed to go and destroy the other church because this pastor is really disturbing us. Mm. Every time we send an agent in the other church to destroy, he makes sure he, disarmant, he dismantles all our weapons and everything. Mm. So we are giving you powers mm. to go and attack this guy. So I was given seven powers. Mm. On top of these two rings, I was given added more theory. Mm. And all these rings had their meanings. Mm. There were some who would keep me from the sun, like vampires. You know vampires? Mm. In that when it's during day, mm. I can move the way I want. Mm. There was one that would give me powers of movement, astral powers. Mm. I would disappear like the way I want. Mm. If I want to be in Gulu now, I can be here. If I want to be in Karuma Falls, mm. in, an, in, an, in a second I'm there. Mm. So I told myself, okay. I will go for this assignment. Because now, that kind of disappearing, you disappear with the whole body yeah. since you've been initiated? Yes. Mm. You disappear with your whole body. Mm. So I came to this church. And with the... Uh, the powers in this church mm. were too strong. Mm. Each and every time I would come like to attack, mm. things would not work out. I go back. I'm given more powers each and every time I come because this girl was sent, but they captured her. Mm. So they said, okay, since now you're the new one, you're next in line, you go and capture this guy. Mm. I was given a ring that would cause accidents. Mm. Anytime I'm on the, on the road and like I feel I want really blood today, mm. I'll just wave my hand up on the hair with this ring. Mm. and an accident happens mm. and people will say hey accident accident but they didn't know and they didn't see you also. and they did not see me but mm. i was there in the middle of the road mm. because of the powers that i was given i would come up flood myself mm. so basically that is how things happened mm. someone and would ask me that probably what church was that? Those questions will come. Should I mention the church? It's okay. It's called Family Miracle Church. Okay. And it is within Gulu here? Yeah, it's in Choke a lot. Okay. Mm. All right. So, what happens now after, was it 2017? 19. 2019. Yes. Immediately after, uh, during that process, how many times have you tried to, like, during that time to attack the church and you failed? In 2019, mm. I tried like three times mm. and I failed. Mm. And I was taken back. Okay, there is a time that, uh, okay, once you fail to do a mission, mm. your soul is captured mm. down there. Mm. Okay, you would disappear like from here. People would think like you've gone like for a journey or something like that, but they don't know. Mm. You can be like they, they, they remove you from Gula and take you like to Kampala. And your body, your physical body is there, but your soul is not in you. It's being punished mm. because of failing to do that mission they wanted. Mm. Mostly their aim was on pastors. Mm. Yes, churches. Because they told us, if we made these pastors to continue preaching to the Christians the way they are doing, mm. a lot of the Christians would make it to heaven. Mm. And that is what their master Lucifer didn't want. Mm. You see? So that was basically the thing. Mm. 
Okay, now, how many times did you stand on the road? Probably like 17, 18, I think even 20. 20 times. But mostly not here in Gulu. Mm. Because in Nigeria, I was also there. Mm. Actually, I was given... I was given full control of the African continent. Mm. So I would travel anywhere I wanted within Africa. Mm. By then, before I was promoted mm. to the Triple Nine Kingdom. Mm. <gasps> triple Nine, Triple Six? Triple Nine. From Triple Six to Triple Nine. Okay. Like so, I told you, they have 12 of mm. So what did you do exactly that made you promoted to Triple Nine? Well, from Triple Six, Mm. I did a lot of assignments. Assignments that you've ever heard of spirits called Sonia, mm. the Dominics, mm. there is Lucy, mm. we have spirits called Piera. Mm. They could not accomplish the mission that they were given. Mm. But me, I came and I accomplished them. Mm. So I was promoted automatically. Mm. Mm. I passed this other one because they say this from triple six, seven, eight is not for the local state mm. because they have their states. Mm. You're promoted according to the mission that you've done and passed. Yes, and passed an accountability that you've given. Mm. <clears throat> wow. Within the schools you were never sent? Immediately after leaving Maryland? Uh, after leaving Maryland, I was sent to schools. Mm. Here in Gulu, I was sent to oh, Gulu Senior. Mm. I was sent to Gulu College. Mm. I was sent to Graceland. Mm. And there is this one, Bright Valley. Mm. <laughs> okay. And all of them you passed the missions? Yeah. Or oh, some of them you failed because uh, they are I, I children also who pray so hard? Actually, I passed all. Mm. Did you manage to win souls or you took blood? I took blood and souls. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, during, um, let's say, after 2019, what happened? Did you just stop there and raise your hand? No. Mm. You know, in 2019, mm. they had told me if I had not accomplished mm the work in the other church I told you about in Family Miracle Church. Mm. It was either my family or my life. Mm. But then, along the way, you know, I had done a lot of terrible things, so mm. along the way... Maybe, before I forget this, eh? mm. before I forget this, I will still remind you on that one. Mm. Um, because among the spirits that you've mentioned, among the spirits that mm. you've mentioned, mm. At least there is one which is familiar, and um, uh, a lot of two to three people have mentioned about that. Uh, I don't know whether you've seen these people uh, physically, but they are people who have, have been able to testify and they have it on record. Mm. Yes. Now, among the spirits you've mentioned, at least the familiar one is the the, the Piera spirit. And Sonia. And Sonia. And Dominic. Yes, and Dominic. Mm. Now, the Piera one, I think it has been within Gulu. Yes. In Sacred Heart. Yes. In Sacred Heart School. Mm. And then, okay, I didn't know that these things all originate from that side. Mm. But initially, for me, I knew... This is a person from where? From Kidgo. And mm. uh, the whole initiation seems to have started also from that side. Mm. So, as of now, mm. as we talk all these things, mm. I think that name is no longer heard. And yeah. The last time I, 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 I heard about was when I checked on her Facebook page. Uh -huh. And she was, I think she had gone out. Yeah, she's in she's in Australia. Yes. Right now. Yeah, so mm. she had already gone out. Yes. But what makes me believe your story right now mm. is because the way she does whatever she posts on Facebook, I really see to it it it, it, it shows things like of those 
mm-hmm. people already who are, are known to be part of the kingdom. Mm. Uh, the likes of Lady Gaga, uh-huh. the likes of and so on and so forth. I see her dressings all are like that. <laughs> yes. So now when you talk about this, it gives me a clear picture of what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Are you getting? Yes. But now, before um, we come back to where we were, couldn't you people, were there limits in what you people do? Or sometimes you people could collide? Okay. We cannot be sent mm. to do a mission in the same continent, like okay, like in the same area. Mm. You will never find that. Okay, you'll never find a spirit like for Sonia because every spirit in the spirit world had its function. Mm. Okay, like if me, I'm supposed to be and come and destroy churches. That is my mission. Strictly, that is Strictly what you're going to come my mission, and do. yes. Mm. Unless a spirit like Sonia, who controls, let's say, fornication, mm. unless she fails in doing her work of fornication mm. completely, that is when I am taken from the other mission of mine mm. to come and finish what she has started. Mm. You see? Mm. So there is no way that a spirit is sent unless okay, there is a point where like if they see like you're really committed in your work because of the promotion they give, mm. the higher you're promoted, the more powers you're given. You get. Mm. So when you're promoted, you become like a queen in that kingdom. Mm. So you are crowned mm. and then seven princesses are put under you. Mm. So it is you to command them. And you what either to do. yes, you either go with all of them to destroy a church, mm. or you pick all of them and you go to a certain fornication, mm. discourse, and the rest. Mm. Or you go, you pick all of them and you know go and collect souls from wherever. You can get them. You can get them. Mm. Yes. Wow. Mm. So, um, for Pierre, I used to do what? What was the assignment? Actually, Pira's case was like, mm. <laughs> okay, her, she was given a lot because for her, she was initiated from right from the womb. Mm. So she had a lot. Mm. She had a lot of powers within her. Mm. So for her, she was like crowned the queen. Okay, she was almost to be crowned the queen of heaven. Mm. So for her, she had like, you know, I met her like twice. Mm. <gasps> wow. And she was supposed to control all of you. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because I remember that time for me I was in Liberia. She was supposed to control us because (laughs) for her she had now reached the highest level, that Mm. is 12. Mm. (gasps) Where you could possess powers even now. Next, like you're now the the, the right hand Mm. of Lucifer himself. Mm. (gasps) Wow. And then Dominic? Okay, Dominic is, okay, he does the same work like Sonia. Mm. Okay, his is just to capture ladies, mm. <gasps> to send ladies. You know, ladies, they're a target, really, mm. Mm. because of their dressing codes and the rest. Mm. They love, actually, a lot of things, materialistic things. So, mm. for this guy's case, it's just like, you marry a girl today, you drop the girl. Mm. You marry the other, and tomorrow, you drop. You just His was like to frustrate Mm. The youth, the 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 is called the problems. Like, yeah, to to the womanhood thing. Mm. Women actually was his target mm. for Dominic. Okay. Yeah. And then Lucy. Okay, Lucy. We have Lucy one, two, three. Mm. Lucy one, two, three. Mm. These ones were dangerous souls. Actually, they represented clowns. Mm. Okay, like me. I can have, okay, with me, I had 12 clowns. Mm. So with these clowns of mine, I can be here. Lucifer is just, okay, like for Lucy, it's just to confuse people. Mm. She had, what can I say, the spirit of what? Because, okay, you know people can be in places, in two places at the same at time. The same okay, time. now that is what she was in like we are here but you also you also are uh-huh. let's say you're now in Kampala uh-huh. exactly and then someone calls you from there eh, it's Jennifer and Kulu say ah she's right here with me but 
I am that also person. Is seeing you uh, that uh, mm. So she was like representing the clones. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Now with you there were twelve. Yeah, I have twelve clones. I had twelve clones actually. Mm. Wow, where by by then people used to call a lot. Eh, hey, Janice. Sometimes I would be like in church. You know, mm. they gave us powers in a way that if you go to church mm. and the pastor is not that strong, yeah, mm. nothing could manifest in you. Mm. You'd be a normal Christian, just mm. like these other ones are. So you are like sit. So. You 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 you're there just to frustrate, yes. to 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 make things not work. Uh huh. For people. So, what exactly do you do? Like. What kind of frustrations do you cause? Okay, confusion in the church. For example, I mm. can sit here today, mm. and then a pastor comes to preach. Okay, mm. with the rings I have in my hand, I can just do geshas, mm. you know, and. His attention is changed. Changed completely. You make babies cry. Yeah. I can do anything I want. I can mm. make like a girl begin walking all the way from... Behind. Then, but behind door when she's putting on some funny, funny dressing. You understand? Mm. Transparent to confuse him properly. Mm. And he will, you know, all his attention will go mm. to the other one. And, even and eventually he will not preach what he's supposed to preach. Things will change. She, things will change. I will start talking, you know, funny, funny things. Mm. That was the only thing, like in churches, just to confuse. Mm. <clears throat> wow. Uh huh. Your advancement to promotion. Mm. What exactly? What happened? To promotion. Mm. From triple six to triple nine. Yeah, from triple six to triple nine. Mm. Like I told you, in 2019, I was supposed to be barren. Mm. So when I felt, okay. What do you mean? Barren, barred? Barred, like dead. Mm. I was supposed to be dead, as you see me, because mm. at the beginning of 2019, mm. we had, okay, not 2019, at the beginning, of, okay, late 2019. Mm. Okay, let's start from late to 18, 2018. Mm. You know, when Lucifer wants to do something, he puts a meeting. Mm. And in this meeting, the heads of all these 12 kingdoms mm. are summoned. And he lays down strategies. Mm. So in 2018, you see this corona thing? Mm. In 2018, he laid down a strategy. He told us, you know, in the late 2019, there's something that I'm going to do that is going to shock the whole world. Mm. But we were not understanding. Mm. So, okay, I took it just like something very simple. Okay, we shall wait mm. for that time to come, yeah? Mm. And we see what it is. So in 2019, late 2019, we were given this powdered form, black in color. Mm. And he told us, you all go and stand in the Indian Ocean. Mm. And then at exactly midnight, each of you is suppo supposed to, fa to face the continent mm. that you have been allocated to. And you blow this thing round. Mm. Like, if it means 12 times, you blow it 12 times. It means 13, you just blow mm. for this thing to get out. From your hand so we did this thing mm. and then early 2020 we started hearing corona mm. <laughs> of course we knew this thing was coming but then we didn't know exactly what it was mm. so okay it's like I was even supposed to stop this thing you know but then by then when I came to the other church Mm. Of course, when the pastor learned and he started like doing deliverance things, mm. some of my powers had started getting off. Mm. So I was moved away from there. Mm. In 2019, late 2019, 2020, I was taken to Nigeria. Mm. 
So in Nigeria, that's where my mission was best. Yeah, my body was here in Gulu, but my soul is in Nigeria. Was in Nigeria doing missions. Mm. So from there, actually, I captured a lot of pastors mm. because that was their mission. A lot of pastors that I captured. So because of the many pastors that I had captured and the souls for those they really wanted, I was given that promotion. Mm. automatically because they tell me not any princess had given them the number of pastors they that wanted. I had given mm. yeah and none of them had accounted for the much blood that the spirits called Magog mm. had collected and then they told me because you've been very active and accurate and then you have given us everything in time. You used to do everything of yours in time. You are capable mm. of being crowned queen of triple nine. Mm. So that is how I got the promotion. Of triple nine. Yes. So what does triple nine do? Triple nine. Mm. We are concerned with dressings. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The dressing industries. Mm. And music. Mm. You look at what type of music is supposed to come and change people's mind. Exactly. What kind of uh, trending clothes people yes. should be now having to change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. So, give me examples. <sighs> right now, mm. like I told you, we sit in meetings. We sat in meetings. Mm. And... We came up with a proposal. You know, people, these TikTok things, eh? mm. people love a lot, but they don't know how it originated. Mm. And then you see people now putting on TikTok, T-shirts written on Drew. They even don't know the meanings of those things. Mm. I at one time told the chat, my dear, you mothers and fathers buying your children T-shirts written mm. on Drew. Mm. I hear Dio, Gucci. Mm. Is there even any day you you first tell yourself, okay, what is really the meaning of these things? Mm. A mother goes and buys for a kid a, a, a full dress, but mm. then with a woman, a woman's face in it, mm. and her hair is all full of snakes. Mm. You have seen those dresses? Yes. Now that one there is the queen. She is the queen of beauty. She's called Medusa. Mm. She heads the beauty industry in the Triple Nine Kingdom. And I think I've heard of Medusa somewhere. Yes. But I still don't grab the, the... I don't know where, but I've heard of Medusa. Medusa is the queen of beauty in the kingdom of darkness. Mm. Her work literally is to give... Okay, you go with your proposal. Mm. You, in her temple... She has a temple in B Bermuda Temple, Triangle. Yes. It's in the Red Sea. Mm, where a lot of people are dying uh -huh. from the plains. They yes. don't pass that place. She has a temple there. So you go with her with your proposal. Mm. Okay, you can go and tell her, okay. I see women. You know, African women have very funny hair. Mm. They're not like the whites. And they love hair. Mm. So you go with your proposal. You tell her, okay, you see. African women are like this. Isn't there something you can do mm. for us to take out there so that they love it? Mm. And then they can, you know, start working for you. Mm. And she will tell, okay, what exactly do you want? Mm. And then you'll tell her, okay, now for me, I want fashion, dresses. Mm. I want such and such a fashion. Mm. And then she'll come out with it. She mm. gives you the design. She will give you all the materials she'll even get for you as is as in fertile land here on earth mm. where you can start producing those things mm. and then eventually you just come up with those things the and start doing mm. Mm -hmm. and people will love it wow. like women love cosmetics mm. but when you begin telling them where cosmetics come from some of them say ah ah you're a liar this and this i have seen how cosmetics are made mm. 
Lipstick people put on lipsticks. They don't know lipsticks come from dead fetus of babies. Mm. Those, okay, you hear today. My wife has got a miscarriage. How? Mm. From where? A woman is born in this world not to have any miscarriage. There's no one in this world who is born even to be barren, first of all. Mm. But it's just the work of Lucifer. Mm. It's just their black magic they use on people. Mm. And they go and use it with their other chemicals from the other side. Mm. And they produce these things. Wow. So basically, triple nine, yes. Mm. Triple nine is just beauty. Mm. And the hair? The, the, yeah, the, the, this, weaves. the weaves also. Mm. You're given chemicals. Mm. Okay, there's a rubber that is attached to a chemical. They told me it's over mercury, over what? Mm. Yeah, something like that. And then also mix with the sperms. Mm. You know the sperms of a man mm. has contains all his glory, like everything on earth. Mm. Everything good about a man is in his sperms. Mm. So you see like there are women agents that are sent from that kingdom to come like seduce men. Mm. These ones who go like, uh, like I told you, Sonia is mm. responsible for fornication. You sleep with a man, he takes your sperm. Uh, we go, okay, you sleep with a woman, you don't know, she will take your sperm. And then they use it, the other side. Mm. Actually, the amount of glory that is in the sperm mm. is used mm. to create lots of things. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. What do you talk about India? India. Mm. I've not been so much with India. Mm. Mine was Africa. Because mm. mm -hmm. the, the latest one I played last week, mm. um, uh, it was Lucifer himself talking. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said he has a lot of uh, gods in India because the second kingdom because the, the okay the second headquarters mm. of the devil worshipping kingdom is in India mm. so it is possible and the first one the first is in California the second is in India and the third is in Nigeria okay mm. wow that is why we get a lot of um, a lot of things happening in Nigeria yeah Okay. So, um, as you've been in this life and you've been promoted to the triple nine, uh, I wanted, first of all, before we reach to another question that I may ask, first, get for us the reality of what people talk about the triple six. Is, is it true what people are saying? Is it true what the Bible is saying? Is it true that Lucifer is organizing that? Yeah. Or these are, mm -hmm. those are just words? Early 2020, mm. we sat in a meeting in California. Mm. Where? You know, in the kingdom of Triple Twelve, mm. there are evil geniuses mm. that do lots of funny things. Mm. So the triple six, that mark is coming. Mm. Whether people want to know, actually it has even started manifesting already. Mm. And honestly speaking, there are people already with triple six marks on them. Mm. But they don't know. They cannot see them. Yes. Mm. Through the vaccinations. Mm. Because the only way you'll get that triple six is for a very tiny, tiny object like this to reach your body. Mm. Now most people don't know that through this vaccination, mm -hmm. microchips are being put in their bodies. Mm -hmm. They have no idea. Wow. No? So, it is there. Mm -hmm. It is coming. People should be prepared. People should prepare. This mm -hmm. thing is there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, you've been in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Did you happen to, to go into churches like... Okay, let me phrase my question like, what do you say about T.B. Joshua? Did you at one time also visit his church among the people yes. you are trying to? Yes, 
Mm. I visited this church. Tibi Joshua. I visited this church, but the other one. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't think there is like. Okay, when you were still there, there was no any agent that I could get to him mm. because his powers were genuine, mm. very genuine. Mm. Unless of late, if there is some fall somewhere, mm. but before. Mm. You know, people talk. Mm. People talk lots of things that they don't understand. Mm. Me, myself, I've been there. Mm. And from the way we used to. Because this was the very first time that I saw Lucifer, Lucifer put all the heads of the Triple Twelve Kingdoms together mm. to work against this TB TB Joshua. Joshua. Mm. And they failed. Mm. So, people should talk, stop, you know, talking mm. without mm. understanding some things. Mm. In the spiritual realm. Exactly. People should not. Did you try Pastor Chris? No. You never tried? I did not. Because, okay, actually, I was supposed to go try that chat, but then, mm. along the way, I encountered... A lot you know, of I no not a lot of not a lot of resistance or something like that, but I think I encountered with Jesus himself something mm. like that because when I was like on my way fast, you know, fast at a very high speed. Mm. And then like I was just stopped abruptly. Mm. I didn't read that chart. Mm. I did not. Because like all my powers vanished then when this person stopped me, you know? Mm. <gasps> So, I did not. Okay. Mm. Wow. So, when you came back, when 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 was that? From from Nigeria back to here. That was late twenty twenty. Late twenty twenty. Mm. Okay. Wow. Tell me about leadership. Do you have leaders during that time? Man of Fuditikon, when you are still there. Mm. Are there those leaders that you know that they have been planted by Lucifer himself? Should I really mention names? You may not, but at least it they is okay there. to tell us. They are there, mm. including presidents. Mm. They are there. Mm. Mm -hmm. wow. Very many. Actually, the, 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 the seat that they are on mm. has been anointed Mm. by Lucifer himself. Mm. They are there. That's why you see there are other presidents who can't like be, you know, and removed. They cannot be touched. Uh huh. Mm. They are there. Wow. Hey, I'm now learning. Yes, they are there. <laughs> Praise be to God. Now, um, along the way, mm. how did you encounter Jesus Christ? Well, I encountered Jesus like three times. By the way, when you came here, you came to only one church or? Here in Gulu, mine was strictly one church. Hmm. But then along the way, since I had felt that one, I was told to go capture other churches also. But you know, there are churches that have been also planted by Lucifer himself. Hmm. Those are churches that when we are not just supposed to go near. Those ones that have been planted yes. by Lucifer. Yes, hmm. because they also have assignments to do, mm. to collect souls for him. Mm. So we are not supposed to interrupt. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of pastors that we established. Mm. And they're here working. And they don't know how. And you know them? Yes. Okay. I know them, but I will not mention names. No, don't, no, no, don't. No, no, no. <laughs> Even if you were to mention, no. that was going to be between me and you. Yes. Mm. So, you tried, but it is so happened that you were transferred yes. immediately. Mm. Okay. So, your parents... All this while, they never came to realize what was happening? Actually, my dad was told, but you know Catholics. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. 
Catholics will never believe. Mm. Okay, they, I don't know. They have this strong believing that there is nothing like that. Mm. My, okay, you know, when, when I came to the other church and I was overpowered mm. and he started doing deliverance on me, mm. he tried telling my dad, but up to now, he has never now, believed. Okay, sometimes he tries, you know, when he sees like, okay, this girl's behavior is getting way out of hand. Mm. He tries like to believe in a way, but there are times when it's like, ah, this is not true. This is not true, mm. <laughs> you know? Mm. So like, okay, I tell people, you leave them the way they are. Mm. There is a day they will realize, because right now I'm writing a book mm. about this thing. Mm. And... I want it to come just like a surprise for them so that they read and know, okay, this girl has gone through this. Mm. And all this while we have been seated, mm. not knowing, yeah? Mm. Yeah, some of them know. Okay, they, they, they have tried telling them, but mm. wow. they don't believe. Wow, they still don't accept it. Yes. That it is true. They don't. Even after my sisters telling them because when they were doing deliverances on me, like my sisters also somewhere there, then they would see it and they would hear what would manifest like mm. a lot of things, rings that I vomited, mm. you know? They still don't believe. <laughs> okay, I know they want to believe this, but mm. I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't there is, understand. There is a power that is mm. still making them not. Yes. But their time will come. Tell us about uh, the factories, uh, those things that you know, because you made mention that down there where you were taken, mm. it is almost tripling, whatever yes, that is on the earth here. Yeah. Please, can you enlighten us more there? <laughs> because this is something that people all are arguing over. Mm. All this, the reason why I'm asking you this, all the testimonies that we've listened to, they have all touched the things. Hmm. Even the one, the recent one from India also touched the things. So maybe you can as well try to let us know. The factories. Mm. Yeah, I know factories. Food factories, number one. Mm. Like beef. Mm. You find that you see beef. <laughs> People don't know what they're eating actually. Mm. Most people, beef factory actually, proce they are processing like dead bodies. Mm. Hmm? People eat these things and they are growing fat. They don't know where the things are coming from. Mm. I know factories of clothes mm. where it is initiated automatically. Okay, like I told you, t shirts like Drew. Mm. I told people. Drew, that is D-R-U-R. D-R-U. D-R-E-W. Mm. Okay. I've been telling people, people. Okay, the youth, actually. I, I really advise the youth because there are some of these things mm. that went automatically. You know, we were given like spiritual black gloves. Mm. And these spiritual black gloves, they're invisible. Mm. You can't see them. Mm. So like anything I lay my hand on, mm. it is automatically contaminated. Mm. And when you put on it or you eat it or you touch it, anything you do with it automatically, you're initiated mm. into devil worshipping. You start doing funny things. Mm. Now most of these t-shirts that are here nowadays, okay, the dresses and the t-shirts, automatically, these things have already been contaminated. Now, like Drew, mm. what does Drew mean? I don't know. <laughs> devil. It is actually devil mm. has ruled everywhere. Devil has ruled everywhere. But that has, you cannot put it. It is mm. devil rules everywhere. Mm. But people don't understand that thing. Mm. The thing is just a design. Dio. D mm. D like I O R. Mm. Devil is our ruler. Wow. People just put on these things. 
what the devil has put that thing so that they put on it and like groaning or we're gone there we get water like people should come and worship him worldwide you understand mm. and people don't know the meaning of these things mm. they just put on it i always tell people please Okay at least if you really want to put on it because it's the trending device the what like fashion of mm. nowadays eh? mm. really pray over these things mm. but most people, I've known of a girl who puts on this t-shirt that one written drew mm. once she puts on it she is possessed mm. there is no one can hold her she runs crazy on the streets of bulu but immediately she removes it mm. she becomes normal wow i always tell her okay just stop putting on this thing for a whole month and you see what if happens if you see mm. like now you are okay then don't put on it again mm. but if you want to try and say okay, okay if i put on this thing this thing, one day you're going to find yourself somewhere far mm. and you will never come back they are targeting people especially the youth mm. youths should be very careful with what comes out fashion mm. eh yeah? Now of late I hear people talk about homosexuals, homosexuality, lesbianism. This thing was like way back in 20 like 2021 I think. Mm. Is when this thing was being put mm. into work from the devil's kingdom. Yes. Mm. Now it is manifesting. It has manifested. Mm. I told my pastor one day I said, you know, in 2023 is not going to be a very good year. Mm. Because a lot of things are going to start manifesting and people are going to say, "Ah, Jennifer, you've not told us this this." I'm now telling you. Mm. Starting from 2022, mm. 2023, 2024, mm. it's not going to be a very good year for people because that meeting we had. Mm. So, it's going to change everything. Yes. Because This thing of lesbianism of homosexuality has been there like in those European countries before before mm. now they're just trying to the evil geniuses I told you about mm. are just trying now to bring it through donations in our country mm. and people are just accepting it just like that wow mm. Mm-hmm. Gucci, is it Gucci? Gucci, I don't know how they pronounce Gucci. it. <laughs> It's called Gucci. Mm. Gucci. Okay. Mm. Gucci. That one is about Okay, that is all music things anyway. Mm. It's just a label for music things, but it's just also the same as this. And there is a lady things. also named that name. Yeah. Mm. because she's a leader in one of those industries. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um uh, in the spiritual world, do you know some probably companies that you know that at least there are people down there that you've been seeing in the spiritual world in mm, the spiritual world and uh, you you really think that they are also busy owning businesses yeah. Yeah. They are But I'm not going to mention names. No, please don't. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There are very many actually. Mm. I always advise people about sodas. Mm. Yeah? Okay. Sodas. Mm. People are not supposed to be taking sodas in a holiday because they don't know how it's manufactured. Mm. People see people here using just chemicals like here on earth. Mm. But they don't know what is in those chemicals. Mm. Mm. and is one of the ways that is our paving way you know the devil is looking for anything that can draw you away draw people away and then make the triple mark come come to light yes that is his aim actually his aim is for people everyone like actually on earth is supposed to be having the triple mark before rapture mm. Hmm? Mm. that is his aim wow so that even if you are raptured and you're judged mm. you still come back mm. under him because the triple mark is there whether you want it or not the moment you've got it yes, that's the end. that is the end of it so that is what this guy is after okay 
some of these things I'm only asking to confirm because mm-hmm. uh, most of them have been mentioned mm. before. Uh, there is uh, one of the agents, and uh, he was the, 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 the agents in the whole of Uganda, but under the sect that is uh, Illuminati. Mm-hmm. So he was in charge by taking, taking. For him, he says up to today, he has never agreed. But because I think of the the talent and whatever the devil is seeing in him, they want him to do the work, and they came for him directly. Mm. Just as you have said, the Indian Ocean, mm. he was taken and they made Lucifer directly, and he came back. Mm. <laughs> He's being given everything, but he's refusing. But Okamoma, he has nothing to do, because even on the other side, he has also not yet fully he's accepted a Christ. He's not. Mm. He's just a common man in town in mm. Kampala. Are but he getting? wants the Illuminati kingdom to... He doesn't okay, like, want... Like, he, okay, Lucifer wants him like to recruit people. Yes. In Illuminati. Uh-huh. Mm. Of which I think blindly he did because he was got from school. Okay. He was got from school. Okay, was he given like money? Yes. Okay, I understand. He was given money, but mm. how he was taken... He was got from the class. He even said that he remembers even being promoted to P7 when he has not even studied P7. It's there he was picked from P6 mm-hmm. because the, the number in P7 was less that they wanted. So he was taken to field and even mm-hmm. passed. And mm-hmm. it was a friend who recruited him. Yes, and knowingly, And they just took his name. Mm. For him, he realized now things have started changing. Okay, these things happen, yeah? Mm. Okay, like... If the devil really wants you to work for him, mm. he will pick you and take you. Mm. It will now depend on your knowledge of God. Mm. Because these people always use God, God, God all the time. Mm. They have the scriptures, by the way. They use the Bible, mm. the real Bible we have here. Mm. So now, it's your word mm. of the knowledge of God that will save that you. That will save you. Mm. You know, if you go there and you don't know like anything of the scripture, the mm. word in you automatically it will brainwash you mm. and you'll do whatever they want and then money mm. money mm. is another thing once you're given money you know people love money money mm. you can do anything so that is what they use wow. because there is a spirit there called the mormon mm. is it controls finance. <laughs> You'll make people get scared of mobile money. <laughs> no, I'm telling you the truth. By the way, these things because of mobile... Because they, they have also shortened it to Momo. <laughs> exactly. Uh. Mobile money use will not be there. These people are coming with a strategy of... of, of is They call it a cashless society. Mm. Yes? Mm. Now, this cashless society is going to be... You have an ATM card, yeah? Yes. Now there is this small microchip thing mm. of which they want to abandon. Mm. These people say, you cannot be carrying money, okay, you cannot be keeping money in the bank, mm. and yet you can have money in your body. Mm. Of late, they want like to introduce this microchip, they're going to put it inside your body. Mm. So that in a way where, anywhere you go, Mm. You will just place this right hand of yours on the machine and money just comes. Actually, actually, it is not like they are going to. It is already Yes, there. actually, I it's have, not I there. Have, I have some videos and some other people are free with it. Uh-huh. They say it is nice, it's okay. Uh-huh. And someone even coming. sampled it and yes. they put it around here. Uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> they put it around here. That is coming. So... But like when the whole world, mm. no, there are countries who no longer use this. I understand Somalia is one of them. Nowadays they use their hands mm. to call you. Mm. They dial on their hands your number and they call you mm. because the microchip is there. Mm. It has everything. Okay, the question I wanted to ask you is this. Eh? Mm. Uh, that gentleman said that there is also this provision, ma. Iramu Goyuchim directly 
bonga rumo iken medu tacha and exactly is what i'm coming to mm. igoyo mm -hmm. yes ke mir like mm. okay you're here seated mm. iti per mater mm. and the nyini ngar mone ni mona ya ngotie mm. mano football to mm. uno koni fall mm. but kumbeti do to mm. ngar mo pe mu mero koni wa mm. ibiti you can chini Mm. His other number chama chwane. Mm. You're going to dial it and it will go through. Mm. Spirit pangate ono bigamu from the grave. Mm. Obi wachi ya ah, Robert, Tim kena kumano manu man. Mm. Your life will be back to normal. Wow. Yeah? It is there. <laughs> it is coming. Mm. There's going to be a point ma this computer is any pewa bi neno. You are going to use mere glass mm. to do all communications and the rest. Now mm. people don't know that this class we look ourselves into is being monitored direct from California. Mm. Mm? Cuz they have the, the the biggest screen actually is in California for devil worshipers mm. where they 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 watch from wherever. Wherever they are, whatever yes. that you're doing. Mm -hmm. okay. Right now there are some people who walk on the streets and they have these glasses. They're not actually for eyes for seeing. Mm. Those are monitoring gadgets. We mm. have watches. Mm. They are there. Even this phone itself is a monitor. Yes. Mm. Wow. Hey. <laughs> what about uh, the loans? Companies making me loans. And those are just people from the underworld. Mm. They, 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 this agent said some of them give out these loans, but they cripple you after. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. Give they'll, give, they'll give it to you so that you fail to pay mm. because they have a mission for you mm. so you will take the loan say ah they'll even sometimes say okay you, you now don't pay it's okay we, we, we shall, shall settle uh, well, let's add you more uh -huh. <laughs> and then at the end you get what they give you, <laughs> you top know. up uh -huh. mm. it's there okay it's there wow mm. so car am I bit of kind within Gulu that time. Which streets do you remember going through? Olutoma, you really tried it to, to pick souls from? BJs. From BJs? Eh? Mm hmm Okay. Because by then when I came to Gulu, I had the money. Mm. I had money because powers, mm. I would get like just 100,000. Okay, like 100, okay. It's called what? A thousand shillings. Mm. 1,000, yeah? Mm -hmm. Akwanya alibachel. Mm. Kati miyato chiyam ne chalo tiyan maduong. Mm. Akwanya alibachel. Mm. And I just pick a spell on alibachel. Mm. And it can turn to one million. From nowhere. From nowhere. Mm. But chiyam ne yonu nogi mina time. Mubu tumukere. Mubu tumukere. Mm. Pian kapu tum. Mm. Ichel spending. Okay. Like a chao yonu ramafuriti spending money yonu is going to disappear. Mm. All of it goes so, back yes mm. so now you change that money you go like to bj's come down marry you know jam mm. more you give them that's the way of initiation by the way mm. Mm -hmm. okay mm. wow my part keep bj's actually i was always in bj's mm. Mm. but to other churches i would just go now to to like collect souls mm. They mm. established their own pastors, and I'm going to tell you how. Mm. So I would just like go help them to collect those souls because mm. again, they're not supposed to take their directly. Mm. So an agent is supposed to come and pick these souls and take. So we created like fake pastors, yeah? Mm. Very many. Mm. And this is how it was done. By the way, <laughs> Women, eh? Down mm. You know, the devil makes a woman. Okay. Like me, I was in charge of, in charge of churches. Mm. From the, the other side, no. Okay. From it, the other side. Yes, from the underwater. Yes, a church. Mm. church. Kakeli church. No, our target is the other pastor. Mm. We want this pastor, okay. Either we want to create another pastor out of him, or we 
ni emno to walk completely his church is supposed to be destroyed completely mm. we pick a very beautiful girl from the other kingdom we bring here a microchip is put here mm. in the head and she's programmed mm. to do exactly as you want mm. and then we, we position her in a church which we want now there she's supposed to go and do everything mm. starting from cleaning mopping the house the church arranging chairs and those things and then through that she will become very close mm. to the pastor yeah then from there she's not supposed to seduce this pastor mm god also seducing pastor my beka pastor don't make a mistake to fall in love with her mm. she's supposed to make sure now in the process of okay in her private part no there's a snake so after the church and whether pastor whether it is with a condom or not is not our problem the thing is once the pastor releases his palms inside this woman mm. that is enough for the initiation yes mm. then that night as she sleeps the snake that is inside said because this thing is not going to go direct inside the woman it's going to go inside the snake because it will open the mouth from there mm. and swallows the spams mm. so at night this spam will crawl out the, the snake will crawl out from the woman's private part mm. and go direct and to the other kingdom mm. to their laboratory mm. and then to spit the sperm there mm. now the evil geniuses i was telling you about those ones who know things eh? mm. they'll come and now start okay like they'll start measuring the amount of glory mm. the amount of, of, of okay actually everything that is good about this past the amount of anointing that he has mm. then from there now this sperm is got put in a microchip mm. now this microchip is kept and then another pa- woman agent again mm. is picked mm. from the other kingdom brought to the world and by the way we look for these boys mm. boys who really want like to preach who really really love they want to really preach the word mm. but then they don't have the finance yeah mm. to start their churches so we pick such boys mm. they take them to the kingdom and this microchip is put on them in their brains mm. remember this microchip has been programmed with all bible quotes in it mm. and everything that is needed mm. for them to become pastors mm. and then from there an agent brings them back shows them land anywhere you want to start your land mm. and then you're given money to start the church to start the church in the disguise of preaching the yeah, word of god yes mm. actually you will preach because everything you know the bible quote is up here mm. yes but out of 100 whatever these people say you must know that 80 percent is false Mm. Yeah, 20 can be real but 80% of what comes out of them is not correct. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is some good information for us. I thank God that <laughs> you've at least given your time. Please can you share with us your transition? Probably what what exactly inspired you that made you become a Christian? That made you accept Jesus Christ? Out of all the scenarios that you went through, Momo well, anyway, in Eko, Anba, Abilare. In 20, okay, this is 2023. Mm. In 2021, like mm. I told, I was going to Nigeria mm. for this pastor. Mm. And along the way, I met this force. Okay, I met a man actually. Mm. 
with a very shining bright light yes i was at a very high speed mm. because i traveled i traveled the world in seconds i would travel the world mm. but this time in my speed this one stopped me mm. so when i was down i was even looking at him but i could not see his face mm. And then he called me with my real name. Remember, in the other kingdom, I was called Princess J. Mm. And in, in the people here on earth didn't know that name. Mm. Here I was called Jennifer, not so? Mm. The other one I was called Princess J. Now, the thing that surprised me most is because he called me with my real name. Mm. Something I had not heard in a long time. I was wondering, okay, no one in the spirit world knows that name. Mm. So how comes this one is calling me with that name? Mm. He called me like three times. Okay, the first time I refused to turn. The second time he called again, I refused. Now the third time that he called was with force. Mm. I turned. And then I looked at him. I was like, okay, what is it? Because you are calling me with my real name. No one here knows who are you. Mm. Then this person tells me, uh-huh, where are you going? Mm. I was like, can't you see me? I'm going for a mission. It was like, which mission? I know where you're going. You're mm. heading to Nigeria for a pastor. But I want to stop you. Mm. Because I have a message that you're supposed to take to the world. Mm. I was like, okay. What message would that be? Mm. Then he told me again. I want to send you back to the world. I was like, Okay, let me first go and finish the other mission. Mm. When I'm done with the other mission, then I can come back. Mm. Then he told me, okay, since you want to go, you go. Mm. You want to go to hell, yeah? I mean, like, you want to go to destroy the other pastor. You can't go. Mm. So I wanted to start in another speed again. But when I started moving like this, there is this force that pulled me back, eh? Mm. Back under his feet. Mm. And this time I was bowing down. I could not even see him <laughs> in mm. the eyes. Yet the other time I was seeing him. Mm. And then he told me, okay, are you now ready for my word, my mm. message? Mm. Okay, in my mind I was like, okay, let me listen to this guy mm. so that he tells me what he wants and he leaves me alone, yeah? And this is one of the testimonies that came here that Lucifer uses people's mind. The moment you accept uh -huh. to listen to him, he takes you up. So I'm thinking when you accepted to listen to that <laughs> man, he gave you the message. He used your mind now yeah. to transform so, you. So mm. this is what I just said, okay, let me listen to this guy so that he leaves me alone and I go and finish the mission. Mm. And then he tells me, okay. And then I ask, okay. He told me, I want to send you to the world. Me, I was like, okay, I have a master. Mm. I already have a master. Then he tells me, who tells you you have a master? Mm. Then I told him, yeah, I have a master. You know, in the Bible, it is written, you can't serve two masters at a go. Mm. And then this guy also tells me, you know, it is also written in the same Bible that I know my people and my people know me. Mm. I was like, ah, ah, okay, it is written in the same Bible. Mm. Eh? You're now arguing. Yeah, we are now arguing with the word. Mm. I also told him, it is also written in the Bible that, you know, okay, I told him a word. And the guy tells me, okay, let me tell you something. It's also in that very thing, the word, it is written mm. that everything is possible <laughs> through God. Mm. I was like, okay, because in the kingdom we were taught, mm. if you're arguing with a Christian, who, ha who knows knowledge of the Bible more than you? Mm. Don't go three times. If you've gone three times and the fourth time you go and he wins you in the word, mm. you become a slave mm. through the word for that person. Mm. So I was like, mm -mm, I cannot be a slave mm. right now. So I kept quiet. I told the guy, okay, you send me. But he knew, of course, I was <laughs> eh? mm. lying. Mm. But I told him, okay, go and finish your mission if you want to go. Because, you know, when I was there, I would go to hellfire, mm. real hellfire with the burning flame. Mm. But because of the powers that I was possessing, it could not burn me. 
Mm. I would pass through it, get a record of a name that I wanted because, you know, there is a name written in heaven. There are people's names in heaven in the book of life mm. and here in the book of forbidden knowledge. Mm. It's just like their book of life for them. Mm. Your name is there, your name is here. Mm. But the thing is, from here, it is sealed. Mm. It is still sealed with the blood, yeah? Mm. So if, like I want your name, to go and see your name, mm. and I go there and find when it is sealed with the blood, I cannot read it. Mm. It will remain sealed until you commit a sin. Mm. That's when that blood comes is out mm. and is open. So I was used like to hell fire. But now this guy told me, okay, you want to go to Nigeria? You go. Mm. When I was moving, now there is this fire that came because when I met him, all my powers disappeared. Mm. Now this thing came through my soul. Oh, it was like burning me to charcoal. Mm. And then I told okay, you send me. I'm ready. And then he tells, okay, I want to send you to the world. Mm. Go and tell them to prepare because I'm coming back soon. Mm. It is left like only five minutes for me to come and take my people back home. Mm. But in this process, when all these things were happening, Lucifer was watching mm. from that, that tower. You understand? Mm. And he saw what was happening, but he couldn't do anything. Mm. The power of the Lord was too much. Uh -huh. He could mm. not do anything. So when he, he, he left... And I gained like my consciousness and I went back, you know, stubbornness. I went back again to Lucifer, to Lucifer. Mm. because I needed answers. Yeah. Mm. Because he told us that he was the only guy with powers, mm. that there was no one with powers that were like his. Mm. But how comes like me, I met someone that took my powers away. And you don't know even the person. Yes. And I don't know even the person. Mm. So I wanted answers. I had to go back. Mm. And then he told me, okay, because of this, I will not tell you anything. But just know because of this, you're being punished now. Mm. And my soul is being punished. I was like, okay. Since my soul is being punished for things that... You even don't know. I don't know. And cannot explain. And I cannot explain. What mm. am I still doing here? Mm. Why don't I just go like to this person whom I met... Mm. And maybe he can explain things to me. Mm. Yes, because I needed answers and they could not give me the answer I needed. Mm. So now when I got out <laughs> and I came, because when the powers disappeared, I felt like sort of sick. Mm. And when I was brought to the hospital, mm. you know hospitals also have got the spirits. agents there. Mm. Mm. I met an agent doctor again, you know, who told me, ah, you know, Lucifer said he's sorry. We are supposed to give you this ring for more powers. You're supposed to go back and work. That is what the, yeah. the, the agent said from yes, the hospital. Yes, mm. yes. Yeah. You know, right now you're an uh, what he told me you're an asset mm. in the kingdom, and they cannot afford to lose you. Mm. I was now like, for what? The guy refused to explain to me about the powers. Mm. They even told me I should not name, mention the name Jesus. Mm. All they told me, they referred to Jesus as son of the owner. Mm. Only. So, immediately I mentioned that name. Everything in the kingdom is shaken. Mm. So I was like, okay. Me, I'm out of this thing. Mm. But when I got out of it, I was not okay. Mm. Because when I got out of this thing, right now as I talk, my mom is not okay. Mm. Mm. She's not okay at all. How did it end with the agent in the hospital? Okay. When she gave me, the, she, she started telling me about the powers. Mm. I told her, okay, I will go. Because I still want to know the truth. Mm. And I went back. Mm. But that was three months. I went back for three months mm. to inquire about the powers. Yes. Mm. About the powers. But the guy told me, you see, hmm, the guy you met is a merciful one. He's always mercy. As long as you sin and do other things, he will forgive you. Mm. Mm, he has mercy. So for that reason, I want you to go back to the world and start working about, uh, okay, your main aim now is to work about, to, to destroy churches because it is through churches that is going to feel hard. Mm. 
Mm. I was like, okay, I'll go and do it. Mm. So when I came out, I was like, there is no need of me continuing doing these things. Because first of all, I have not gained anything. Mm. Hmm? There is nothing I've gained from this guy. Mm. All his powers he gives me, he says they are the most powerful. But then I meet someone who can remove his powers. Now what is that? Mm. And everything is to benefit him. Yeah, and everything is to benefit you. To benefit him actually and his kingdom, you know? Mm. So I was like, mm-mm. Maybe I should go to church and sit and actually tell the pastor mm. what is really going on. Mm. So when I started telling the pastor, okay, he started praying for me. But of course, there would come a time when these things would come back, eh? like mm. to... To torment you. Yeah, to torment. Yeah. Mm. But along the way, I got, you know, mm. used. Because my main problem was worship. Me, I would not listen to worship songs. Mm. So I started getting used to worship songs slowly. Because in the kingdom there, there is also a demon called Jehovah. Mm. And I came here, I had people singing about Jehovah. And I was like, okay. Mm. Are these people worshiping, worshiping the other demon or, you know? Or they have their own. Mm. So, you know, there are a lot of confusing things. Mm. Mm. So, I decided to pray with the other pastor. Mm. The one I was sent to. To, to, to defeat. Yes. Mm. I prayed with him and... I thought I, I okay I just oh, then Michael met me mm. and just decided let me take you to a better church where someone mm. can really teach you the word mm. so when I went to the church yeah he started teaching me the word and now I started understanding exactly what is on the ground is on the ground mm. so that that is how I got born again. Mm. I gave my life to Christ. Do we have us another Jesus down there? Yeah. They said there's another Jesus down there. Mm. Yes. You the, pray and uh, it blocks the powers. Exactly. Your 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 power to connect with God. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay, the the actually they are called the principalities. Mm. Mm. Their work is just to block prayers from coming up. Mm. Wow. So, after accepting Christ, what is your experience? Well, you know, before I used not to date. Mm. Because since I was married to the snake, mm. each and every time I would date a man, mm. it would not take problem. like six. No, not, not even a problem. Actually, there was a real problem because... Either he dies or he runs mad. Mm. Because the snake said I was married to it. Mm. (laughs) So, but right now when we prayed, Mm. I have seen, okay, I've been in a relationship now for two years. Mm. Nothing is happening, so. During the other time, mm. when you get boyfriends relationship and so on and so forth it time mm. of con relationships are deep and journey give it go are you doctor are you doctor okay are you doctor so my name is mario tony i didn't want again to <laughs> to kill kill the other one so mm. i was like ah uh-uh, ah i quit mm. and up to now he doesn't know why Cannot because tell. there are some people, even if you explain things, they don't understand. Mm. So I just told him, ah, we stop here. Mm. So I left. But now I'm in a relationship for two mm. years and it's going on well. Nothing is happening. Mm. Yeah, I got a job last year with you, and mm. mm. And it's also moving on well. And it's well. also moving on well. Mm. Right now I'm planning to buy land. Hallelujah. In Koro. Mm. Yeah, and my children are okay. okay. Though those days, these things used to disturb them, but now they're fine. Mm. Mm. So, at this stage where you are now, mm. are you able, as God giving you the spirit of discernment? Yes. To identify that mm, this is from there. Exactly. And I don't want to, 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 to get involved. Yes. Okay. Mm. Wow. 
I see. I see a lot of things actually spiritual. I see. Mm. Mm. Now, what about Christian? Okay, for the case of Christine, mm. I think she's still serving because the story I was told by mm. her cousin. Mm. Her cousin told me. So, first of all, before you even narrate the, 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 the story of Christine, mm. the cousin was a normal person. Yeah, very normal. But was aware that Christine is back from hell. Yes. He was aware Christine was back from hell because Christine threatened his family. Mm. If they would say anything, mm. their family would be in trouble. Okay. So he had to keep it to himself. Mm. Mm -hmm. And by God's grace, he told you. Yeah, by God's grace, he told me. Mm. But even nothing happened to him. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was told by this boy, Julius, that Christine, okay, they are, okay, his father and Christine's father. Mm. are brothers mm. and Christine grew up in with their family because he told me that this girl when the mother was giving birth to her she passed on mm. and left the kid when she was like two days old mm. Christine so his father took care of Christine because Christine's father was working in Uganda mm. so now his family is always done taking care of Christine mm. and then from here Christine's father felt very sick. Mm. So they removed him from work and they took him back to Tanzania. Mm. Now by then Christine was 12 years old. Mm. So one day, because the father was very ill and she had nowhere to, okay, now the father brought, took her. She had to go and take care of the father. So one day she told, they told me she was going like to the well to fetch water and she met an old lady from mm. nowhere and Christine and Christine mm. when she was young from Tanzania so the old lady like initiated her mm. because the old lady asked her do you want your father to be well and she accepted because that is the only parent she had mm. so the old lady told her you come I'm going to make your father well mm. so they took her she initiated her and then she was told okay she she made a covenant with the devil that she would work for the devil mm. whether she's dead or alive mm. she would collect souls for the devil as long as her father is made well mm. that was the covenant she made mm. so when she came back she stayed like when she was like okay completing like senior four because she studied from uganda she they told us tanzania <laughs> education system is not all that good or whatever they can't speak English very well mm. so they wanted her to come and learn English so they brought her this side and her father passed away hmm? with that illness mm. so the devil lied yeah so the devil lied to her mm. so when she went home she got so mad mm. with the other old woman and because there was now nowhere she could stay, mm. she committed suicide. Oh my God. And she passed on. Mm. But her soul, her spirit continued living. Living. Mm. Working for the devil. So that is how everything happened. Mm. <laughs> so I believe now she's like being crowned queen mm. of heaven. From that side? Yes. In the, in the evil world? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Hey. <laughs> and it's like years come, years pass, she's there. Yeah, she's there. She doesn't age. She's actually like a vampire. That's why she has that ring that protects her from the sun. Mm. Okay. Mm. Wow. Then, um, I, I wanted to really know since you've 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 you have that experience people still like are confused now according to some books i've read and so on and so forth mm. uh, there is this confusion that probably heaven is, in, heaven is going to be on earth but as i think it is in space <laughs> others say hell 
is within and others are going through. Others say it is underground. Others say where. According to you, your, your experience in the spiritual world, what do you comment about this? Heaven is on its own. Mm. You know, heaven cannot come on earth. Mm. If heaven comes on earth, meaning what? Where are the people on earth going to stay? Mm. Eh? Mm. Are they going to go to the third, the first or the second heaven? Mm. Where exactly? Mm. And for the reason, okay, actually hell is there, mm. but it's not here on earth. Mm. Hell is underneath. I have been there. Mm. The first part of hell is this earth you see here. People are on top. Mm. The second part is underneath. Mm. And the third is down there where that hell of Sorry. this one here. Mm. People at that church are calling me. Mm. Uh, that is where now the, 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 the fire, the lake of fire is. Mm. Yes. Okay. Mm. So it is true, it is there. Down. Yeah, hell is there. Mm. It is there. It exists and is very real. Mm. Because there are people from hell I've seen mm. who have come out here on earth. People die. Mm. And when they die, they pass through hell. By the way, people pass through hell before they go to hell. Mm. You know that. So from there, that is when they get out from hell and they come up with stories. By the way, people tell stories about hell. Mm. And there are most people here who believe there is no hell. Mm. But I'm here to tell people hell is real. Mm. It exists. Mm -hmm. And uh, according to some men of God, it's like the gates of hell have been opened. Exactly. And that's why most of the evil things are happening right yes. now. Yes. Mm. It is wide open. Mm. Because of the way people are dressing nowadays. Mm. And, okay, because of the immoralities that is going on in the world. Mm. The gate of heaven is wide open. It is wide open, just like the gate of hell, of heaven is. Mm. For hell is wide open. Mm. Wow. So, what, in summary or briefly, what do you have to tell people out? Well, I want people to know powers mm. that are from the kingdom of darkness are not real. Mm. They are not real and people should not fall for it. Mm. Yeah? They should not fall for it because I've been there and I've seen this thing. Mm. And right now I regret because maybe maybe um before even we we go to the summary again i've remembered um when when this point when you met this agent you decided to go back and then come back and it's like you were prayed for okay from the from, hospital uh, were you prayed for in the hospital no when the agent talked to you you went back when she gave me the powers, yes. the rings, yeah, the like rings. I told her, I went back to to, to ask. Mm, I needed to answers, yes. Mm. So then you came back. Now, when you came back because you had already made up your mind, mm. you went directly to church yeah. and confessed. Yes. During the time of praying for you, did Lucifer manifest? Okay. Did he try to come and fight himself? Yes. He came. Mm. Because I was shown a video mm. by the pastor mm. that he took during time of delivery mm. and okay, it affected his wife actually mm. because the wife got a miscarriage from nowhere mm. and because of my getting out Mm. the pastor almost died you know he got an accident on the way and killed the boy mm. a young boy of six years mm. yeah so he came mm. <gasps> and during that time you didn't know yourself yeah I didn't know mm. there are times when okay when these things like come over me mm. I can't control myself I do some things that I don't know mm. but then after like within some 
minutes mm. when I've prayed for or something like that and disappeared. That is when I realize where I am. Mm. Mm. Okay. Because, okay, like two days ago, mm. okay, not two days ago, yesterday actually, mm. yesterday something happened strange at office. Eh? Mm. A friend told me, okay, I was inside, mm. and a friend told me, Mm. A snake was in the compound, and me I was inside working. Mm. And she told me they stoned the snake. Mm. When the snake was dying, she came inside to look for me. I was on the floor dying. Mm. And then she, they rushed me to the hospital at Flama. Mm. And for three hours I was unconscious. Mm. I didn't know what was happening. Mm. And when I woke up, I started vomiting. And mm. she told me I vomited a ring. She told me she removed the ring, but the ring disappeared. Mm. She doesn't know where the ring is. Mm. Because I really wanted to see what ring that was. Because for me, as I remember, rings, I vomited like about seven, eight in mm. the other church. Mm. Which I was shown like this after deliverance. Meaning that one had remained. There was still an attachment. So when she told me that yesterday, I was a bit confused. I was like, okay. Mm. What was going on? Mm. That's, so that is why it's with them when I'm at home. Mm. What about uh, during that same time? Didn't you get into a scenario whereby in the spiritual world, someone is delivering you or pulling you away from somewhere? No. I didn't. Because, because I've had scenario whereby uh, people who have been in such a scenario, mm. when they are praying for them, in the spiritual realm, there is an argument between Christ and the devil. Yeah, it's there, so but... Come this way, the other one, come uh -huh. this way, this one, come this way, this one, come this way. Yeah, it is there. Mm. It is there, but for me, it did not happen. Mm. Yeah, for me it didn't happen because the thing is, I was so much, I was so much deeply enrooted in this thing, mm. in a way that pulling me out of that thing was so difficult. Mm. Because, and also coming, you had made up your decision. Mm. Okay. Mm. So during that process, with the whole prayers and so on and so forth, at least you're much better. Yeah. I'm much better because if you can see me now and compare me with mm. the last four years, mm. some people don't recognize me now Praise because I was God. really skinny. Mm. I would not feed on food. Mm. Mine, I would like spend like three, four, even a whole week without eating food mm. because there are times when I will feel like I really need to take blood mm. throughout. But you just feel thirsty. Yes. I would really feel thirsty for it. Mm. <gasps> wow. Glory be to God. So, at the moment, uh, I'm just like amazed eh? mm. with all this. And I know whatever that you've given is what the Lord has led you to say. Mm. I know there could be other things, but you could not remember them on time. But uh, I know we sh can still have time and interact. Yes. You already have my number. Mm. And uh, in case of anything, just feel free. Uh, there is one thing I, I, I wanted just to comment mm. uh, before we come to a conclusion to this, that at this moment where you are, you have already waged the war. Are you getting? Yes. You have turned against your superior. Mm. And you have accepted Christ, meaning you are supposed to defend yourself. Now, defending yourself, you have to continue knowing more about the word. Yes. Because that is what the devil doesn't want. Exactly. Because you will be able to defend yourself mm. whenever he attacks. The reason why what happened yesterday, it is because it caught you unaware. Yeah. Are you getting? Mm. Then the other thing uh, that I've been even encouraging others, 
and it is has so far worked any whatever that you have gone through you have to abandon you have to like querne you have to refuse whatever that has been given to you you have to throw it away you have to burn it if you can what happens is whatever the evil has given you however much you say that you have turned against them there is still a link there is a link between you and the evil mm. and you will always have a root to your life either through a cloth either through a ring anything mm. it could be shoes anything mm. that you have got and that is the main reason why whenever you accept Christ as your personal savior you have to burn and deny all that yes and remove it mm. so i have a feeling the the link that makes the thing continue coming sometimes it is because there is something that you've not yet noticed and particularly maybe that is one thing that was got yesterday and you have to look around you mm. either materially or spiritually and continue breaking those powers because as long as they are still there mm. it is like if i've given you something of mine like my money and you still owe me mm. you've not paid me every time it haunts me Jennifer still has my money i don't know what she thinks of giving it back mm. it. every time it haunts me and sometimes i can even be forced to call you please my money mm. please my money please my money so it is the same thing mm. when you still have anything for the devil on you it will always have the link to haunt you and then also look around if it made you bury something somewhere go and remove it and burn it if it made you do this or that better do mm. now right now what you're commenting upon like you said you, your mom is not okay yeah you have really to stand with her but what i don't know is if they have not yet believed what you're saying it's very difficult to change that soul to save it pange o kita inibiti mukere but atamone you have to continue talking to them in a small pace little little by little let them come to understand the thing is she's not even here mm. she was flown abroad mm. so i was waiting like for her to come back then i introduce mm. the pastor Mm. maybe the pastor can explain to them because mm. he has seen mm. Mm. it is fine mm. um the other thing is also you talking to her just being close to her for me i've told her everything it's only that they don't want to believe <laughs> mm. i have told them everything mm. It is very hard for me to change the mind of a grown up, you know. That is true. Yeah. And they look at so, you as you're young and you cannot say anything. Wow. It's very hard. Okay. Um so tell the youth, tell the people outside there. What is your advice with your experience? Well, for the youth You know the youth are a target in the kingdom of darkness because they are the the, the, the number the number of youth mm. in the kingdom of darkness is much higher than the older ones and they are the target so my advice to the youth is they should mind of their friends mm. yeah people they become friends with they mm. should really mind because there are some people who are sent purposely mm. for them Mm. and they should mind of this materialistic things mm. people love the youth love materialistic things mm. you know if you come from a poor family you accept them from a poor family mm. you don't have to go and say aha this one I've found a rich person mm. i should befriend this but you don't know how that person is getting whatever he or she has mm. yeah so they should mind mind of the things they get from people Mm. Uh, that will save them and for the women women should be very careful with the way they dress mm. 
Mm. They are dressing codes. He's the one leading them. And attachments, jewelries, you know? Mm. Those are the things that is leading most women to hell. Mm. If only they could change, it will be a better place for them. Mm. Mm -hmm. And men, I tell men, men, not everything that glitters is gold. Oh. Mm. <laughs> men already see women. You know, they run after men and they don't know that it's women bringing for them trouble. Mm. Yeah, so they should mind women. They should mind. Actually, people should pray. People should pray because the end time is coming. Not far. It is coming very soon. It is coming. Mm. Mm -hmm. People should pray for their souls because <laughs> the mark of the beast is there. Mm. Mm. People should pray. Mm. For me, I have done my part. <laughs> mm. I'm waiting for them. Mm. If they can't change, let them change. Those who have had, mm. they have had. Okay. Wow. Um, okay. I know this one. It is either yes or no. Mm. <laughs> Are you comfortable sharing your number? On. On air? Okay. <laughs> Are you comfortable? I am comfortable. Mm, because I know. The reason why I'm saying this. Mm. Eh? Um, the instances where someone is going to call. Mm -hmm. Certain questions I'll not be able to answer. But if they share with you, mm. you'll be able to explain. Okay. There are people who have been, who have come here to testify, but through people who have already testified. Okay. Because, like, someone can be already in the kingdom of darkness, but from nowhere, God has made a person listen to the radio. Mm. And then he hears you talking. Mm -hmm. And then the person will be like, please, how did you go about this? Others could be going through a lot and mm. they still want to learn. So they would want to interact with you one on one. Okay. Come to your church where you are, or possibly go to them and pray for them, or possibly direct them. Some of them are like, We don't trust. <laughs> there are people who are complaining of churches, you get it? Eh? Yeah. But they, they believe someone who has come to testify mm. knows a better church. Yeah. So they would want to connect with you. Mm. That's why I'm, I'm saying. Are you comfortable? Pian is not a must. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Okay. Mm. So can you share with us your number? Uh, my number is 0774 mm. Again? 0774-98-72-97. Mm. All right. Thank you so much. Do you have any question for me as well? I've been the one questioning you. Do you have anything for me? <laughs> no. Mm. No. Ah, you might have um. a question for me as well. Please feel free. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you have any question for me? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't. <laughs> it's okay. Mm. Otherwise, uh, is there anything that you think you've left out? Well, the only thing is, you know, if, okay, I would like, okay, it's okay, let, let, let just end there. No, it's okay. Okay, I'm just having a book, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm no, having okay. a book. It's okay. I am having a book that I'm writing about That's the, the reason kingdom. Why, that's the reason why I'm with you here, because yes. I want us to talk anything that we have yes. either you have what or you have what it is partly to spread the word of god so don't okay. fear either it is on sale or it is not on sale it's not yet the best thing is i want you to expose mm -hmm. yourself expose what you do expose what the devil is doing mm -hmm. and that's why we are sharing so just I have a book mm -hmm. that i'm writing Okay, it was supposed to be launched last year, mm. but because of finance, mm. we did not launch it. Mm. It's about everything I've talked about here, but into details. Yeah? Mm. And the title is I Overcame. Mm. Yeah. Maybe 
in the middle of this year or late this year i will mm. launch it mm. and the youth you know me most people don't like reading mm. but i hope if i launch this book people will read Mm. It is going to be like very affordable at a very cheap price because mm. it's main, mainly ta- targeting the youth mm. because they are the targets. Mm. So hopefully this year I hope to launch this book out. Mm. Mm. That is good. So, I just probably be among the first people to get it. <laughs> <laughs> it will be there. It will be my pleasure. Mm. Yeah. I pray I'll be among the first people. Mm. That is good. Yeah. Um, um, it's going to have mostly whatever that we've talked into detail. Yes. Okay. Mostly what we have talked into details and maybe a bit of some other things that I've not touched, like mm. like talking about demon demons into mm. details and the hybrids mm. demon the, the 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 combination of angels and demons and mm. all that. Mm. those things how i wish you give me that time one day of for that talking about that yes if you could give me that time <laughs> and we share that you know one day i talked about this thing to a pastor and he got so scared and he was like mm. are you really a human being i was like yeah <laughs> i am a human being <laughs> <laughs> how i wish but, you can arrange sometime and we talk about that. The reason why I'm saying it is also going to help you in that it is going to help you memorize most of the things mm. and with your voice mm. documented. I'll give you a copy of this. Mm. So that once in a while you refer and you have it as a backup somewhere. Mm. I get it? Yes. You have it as a backup somewhere. Mm. It may not necessarily all be written but you have with your voice mm. and it will help you. And now this one will help you when you go to the church. Yeah, can just make like people listen and a lot you come of pastors are really calling a lot a lot of pastors mm. <laughs> are calling some from Kitgum. Mm. There is one that has called from Nwea. Mm. I should go give a testimony in that church. But I even don't know how this they heard about me actually. God is doing but, all this. <laughs> now expect it to be even more now. Amen. Expect it. You will come and testify. You will call me. After oh. this, mm. you will call me. So, Jesus is going to work more amen. with you. I'm only praying um, after this, mm. I pray that you go and settle down and plan another day we have that topic that you've talked about. The uh, hybrids. The hybrids and so on and we'll put it aside. It will help both you and the listener. And how okay, I have mm. a lot how demons enter the body, how yes. a lot. A lot. Yes. If we can have that segment mm. of its own, I'm telling you, you're going to win a lot of souls for Christ. And that is the only way you're going to benefit from the kingdom of Christ. Mm. And that is, actually, let me say, it is the ministry that you are opening in your own way. Mm. I get it? Yes. It is a ministry that you're opening in, in your own way to evangelize and to win souls for Christ. Anything you're going to keep secret, yet God has shown you you will be doing a disgrace for Christ. Now, in your mind, I know for you, you think, ah, you have been taken from school, this, 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 and that happened. I want you to know, destiny, God has made it. God wanted you to go through all this, to come and say it out one day. He knew but now because you were going to do to attack the man of God that is when he said no this is now too much <laughs> don't go there so God knows each and everything programmed and he has made you go through all this for a purpose it is not for nothing and the reason why Lucifer did not damage you 
underwater. It is because God had his seal on you. He wanted you to come back and testify the glory of God and let people know his goodness. And this was to make you knowledgeable, to make you understand that there are certain things which are only God who can do, not everyone. So where you have reached right now, it is you to step up. The moment you decide to keep silent or keep quiet, or hide away certain things because you feel maybe they will scare or maybe you feel it is not worth it to be said it is like you're saying Jesus Christ is <laughs> you give little little mm -hmm. and yet you're supposed to give yourself to the fullest so glorify God for whatever that you went through and make him manifest in your life the more to do wonders so thank him when you go back, just thank him. Whatever that you're doing, first begin by thanking him. Before you do anything, begin by thanking him. When you're going to your office, first pray from home. When you enter the office, bless your office. Because you don't know which spirit went there before you. You don't know what happened exactly. So you bless everything you, by the blood of Christ and then you sit well knowing God has taken over. And probably why the snake was killed, it is because God was in control. God was in control, but they had come to attack. And how do you know whether it is Christian who had come back, waiting for you and then manifest? But because you are protected, God never allowed that to happen. Because light and darkness, there is, these are two different things. Mm. Light and darkness, these are two different things. And since you're ready for Christ, God will never allow anything else to happen to you from that side. Mm. He will never. He will try, whenever they come, he will try to find a way and set you free. But just as I've told you, pray hard. When you mention the issues of the rings, when you mention the issues of what, I understand. <laughs> I watched a lady who was, it was Lucifer himself. Then immediately when he was defeated, he left the queen of the coast. The queen of the coast talked, turned into a snake, started hissing, and then she was also defeated. And left. But before she defeated, she, she was defeated. She was told, remove everything that you've put on her. And she started, she started removing everything, the crown, everything from the mouth. But people were not seeing. They were, people were only seeing action. Mm. People were seeing her doing this, doing this, doing this, <laughs> doing this, doing this, mm. removing this. So it was only giching en ayobero kanen. Only. Mm. And she also removed it. Chiki penyoni, what is this? If for us we use original things, that's what she answered. Yes. For us we use original things. Mm -hmm. And she removed everything but no pen kiwan down on it. So meaning now there is the issue of the spiritual eye. I know you know this. Mm -hmm. The spiritual eye that makes you see the unseen. Mm -hmm. When you turn to Christ, this thing is blocked. If you are going to get that spiritual eye, it means you're going to get it through Christ. And it means you have to work hard. Mm -hmm. And means if you're to get it, it means you're going to be fight using it to fight the devil. But the one the devil gives you, it gives you in a funny way. Rituals are there, everything is there, and it is just blood. It is like blood money. And the end result is, when you change to Christ, it is blocked. So you're not able to see. So whenever he attacks you, you will not see. Because it has been blocked. Mm. And this is basically what will be happening in your life. Things come, you're not now able to see them like the way you used to see them. But they happen. So meaning, you're left to have faith and trust in the Lord. And that is where we are now. 
Mm. We believe in what we don't see. <laughs> we trust what we don't mm. see. But with the devil, they will convince you. You want money? is here. Mm. You want this? It is here. Are you getting? They show you everything. But with God, it is you. So that is why I'm encouraging you that please, this is like an opening door now. Whatever that we have discussed, the devil is not happy. So you have to stand firm. Even when you're leaving, go while praying. Then another thing is, you have now to feel free to open up. Here, I'm spreading this information. It's going to go worldwide. Mm. This is why I'm telling you that it is going to be viral. And the phone calls you're going to get are also going to go viral. But now, pray to God to help you discern. Not all phone calls also will be the good phone calls. Mm. There are those ones who are going to call to fail you. And there are those ones also who are going to call and their agents. But the fight is for who? God. It is for God. And the moment you win, it is Christ who has won. So meaning you shouldn't shy away. This is why I'm telling you that you've already started a fight. A fight according towards your former master. That means you have to be having enough weapons. And it is only Jesus Christ who can give this. And that is why I'm encouraging you. If you still see the things coming, know that there is still an attachment remaining that you need to break. It should go totally. It should disappear. They should never come back for once and for all. But if you see them still coming, know there is still that attachment. It can be too small. And it still gives them the link towards you. And I'm also requesting that you pray for your parents, pray for your dad, so that they can see the light. Seeing the light is to know where the truth is. Mm. They should not know when they're on their deathbed, because it will not work. Then the other thing is, right now that you've accepted Christ, it is like you are the light to that family. So meaning you should fight tooth and nail mm. to win the soul for Christ from that family. So that even if they refuse, I have tried. I have The rest is you now. Me have tried. God will understand. But it should not stop you from keeping on trying. So where you are is just for you now to stand for God and to win more souls for Christ. Wherever you've gone, you're here to testify the goodness of the Lord. And that is what you've done today. And that is what you're going to continue doing in other churches. Mm. Meaning, if you were to shy off, it is like you're shying away from God. Meaning you're ashamed of Him. But if you come out, it means you're ready for Him. You remember what, I don't know whether you've read the words of Bishop Lowum before he died. This low room here, people went and celebrated in Muchini. Mm. <laughs> the man said, yes, I have accepted Christ. And he's ready for anything. And even to die for him. And that is what happened. Now, the more you'll be ready to die, sometimes if God still wants you to do his work, he will not allow you to die. <laughs> God will continue mm. blessing you and blessing you and <clears throat> blessing you. Okay? Yes. Otherwise, I beg love more, Paul. I'm only praying another time we are going to have together. And I pray me God should continue blessing you. Amen. Now that you've changed your path, He should continue blessing blessing you and giving you the right wisdom to use while ministering to his people. Yeah. Okay? Yes. And I still encourage you to know the word 
And then also, I know pastors will call, men of God will call. The knowledge you have, use it. I'm not against men of God, but not all of them are men of God. Yes. Are you getting? Yeah. I'm not against them, but not all of them are men of God. Mm. So you should reason. When you feel your spirit is not really accepting, please don't go. Mm. Okay? Yes. When you feel your spirit is really not pushing, you don't go. Because God also has a way he communicates. Pray over it. If he tells you go, you go. If you feel that you need to go, even if you've seen he's not the right man, but you know you're going to win, you go. Mm. Because there is no time to shy off. Let the Holy Spirit lead the way in your life. Okay? Yes. Are you ashamed of Christ? No. What came into your mind when I first talked to you? <laughs> hmm? Nothing. The thing is, I was just like... <laughs> hmm. Okay, the thing is, I was just scared a bit, eh? mm -hmm. but now I'm fine. You're fine. Mm -hmm. You are worried? Oh. Or whatever that you, I was going to ask? Actually, I'm not worried because people have asked far deeper questions than you've asked, so mm -hmm. I wasn't worried about questions at all. Mm -hmm. That's good. So what was caring? You know, I've never shared this thing like via radio mm. or like anything. Okay, social media, like I've never done it, so. Mm. It's my first time. <laughs> and how do you feel that we've shared? No, I feel okay. Mm. Yeah, I feel much better. Okay. Mm. Yeah, you're going to feel much more better than even what you're feeling now. And uh, just as I've told you, uh, let us keep the communication. Just in case of anything, just give me a call. Okay. All right? Mm. In case the Spirit also tells you that there is something that you need to come, I managed to, to share with you and you accepted. I'm sorry, I made you change your program. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry I made you change your mm -hmm. program, but it is all for the glory of God. It's okay, I had sent a message. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. You said you have no question for me, so <laughs> it is all well. <laughs> but I still okay. insist that in case you have some time, you can come and then we we'll share the other part that we've not shared when that time comes whenever you feel god has directed you to come please do not hesitate or if you have some time just do not hesitate just give me a call if you find my phone is off just send me a text when i get it i'll always get back to you okay then we shall be able to share more okay Okay, is it okay? Your prayers will conclude. You pray. <laughs> hey. All right, um, let us pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Almighty, we glorify your name for whatever that you've made us uh, share, the protection that you've given us the presence of you in our midst that we've been able to discuss all the things in order to bring the truth to light. Father, we appreciate and we ask you to continue being with us. As this word goes out to your people, we pray that it manifests in very many souls so that at least... Uh, you can be able to speak to them. 
Father, I thank you for Jennifer. She has come a long way. And today, she has spoken. It was not her own making. It was because of you that you came into this. And today, the things have come out. I know that whatever that you have made us speak is what you prepared for us. I know there is another day that you have prepared for what has been left out for us to hear. And I pray when that day comes, I request you to communicate so that at least uh, we can be here, we can be able to hear the good news. Father, Jennifer will be going back home. I ask you to bless her. I ask you to protect her. May the almighty angels continue being with her. Angel Michael and the rest, Father, lead the way. May she be able to reach home safely without any interference from the evil world. Father, I trust you and I believe in you. I know this is going to happen and I believe that you're going to render her maximum protection through your son and the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, you've never let us down and I believe you're going to lead the way. I pray that you manifest in her. We break all the negativities. We break all the evil. We break all the evil spirits, links that are there, that are bringing them back to her life. We pray that you give her the glory in Christ. May she be able to serve you. May she be able to deliver the message that you've given to her without an interference. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you've answered our prayers. Father, we thank you that you've been here and you're going to continue being with us. Father, I thank you for everything. I also put her parents into your hands. I pray that you bless the father and the mother and the relatives that they might come to see the light. Let them know the truth. Let them know that there is that person that is superior the mighty one, the almighty one, Jesus Christ. Let them come to realize all this. Let them know the truth. Father, I ask you to intervene and be in her family. Dwell in their family. Make changes the way you want. And all this will come to pass. Thank you so much for listening into that testimony. I hope you've learned something. Otherwise, I want to thank you so much for taking your time to listen. And I hope you've learned. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Remember to like. And then at the same time, give us that encouragement by sharing to others as well. Otherwise, I remain Robert on Resto Hope channel. Thank you so much. May God bless you. See you next time in another video.